you tell me what's going on here? What are we getting ready for? I know we're getting ready to go and do some filming at the school. We're getting a... Uh, we're going to have my sister and my dad and Dennis there. They're going to be white eyes and they're going to have the cube. The cube. And they're going to be white eyes and then they're going to be like looking at the cube. And it's yeah, it's going to be a big day of filming, hey? As you can see, we are packing up the truck and the trailer with our gear. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, we got our lunch. We got our lunches packed for the day, and we're gonna go and spend the day at the school. What's for lunch? I packed a sandwich, two bananas, and um, some homemade applesauce. Amazing. Yeah, okay, and I cool. I got some cheese, cold ham in my sandwich, which is amazing, cold ham, and some mustard. And oh, okay, all right. So we're set. Because the last thing you want to do is be hungry. Yeah, and they also have a water bottle. Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, are you going to have books in your backpack again today? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, did that, I did that the other day when I was running through the field with my dad being a white eye when he was chasing me, and um, I have a sore ankle, so it's... I'm going to take all the books out of there. Why Why did you have the books in there, DJ? Because I packed up my bag getting ready for school. I just never packed a lunch kit because I got all my stuff ready. And then once we started doing this, I had to unpack the books, but I forgot to. So you ended up doing like like pretty much four, four hours of running around with a backpack on that was full of books, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How did that feel by the end of the day? Pretty bad. I had a sore ankle and <laughs> it wasn't too good. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. Oh, so we have, no, 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 no. we have a crew member locked in the bathroom. We've lost the director. And it's he good. can't get out and we can't get in. Maybe if we knock, he'll come out. Hey, Dennis? Yeah. Can you seriously knock it out? I can't get out. Okay. Hey, guys. I got a gun. Watch this. We gotta take the hinges off, man. <laughs> Why don't we just down? No. Push the door open. How did it get open in the first place? I thought you guys opened this yesterday. Mark must have opened it with the uh, a pin or something. Oh, well, there's a pin here. Here, grab that pin. This is highly irregular. I was a child. I need to push right in. Now we got a knife. I've got my spare knife. All right. Yeah, yeah. Watch your fingers. DJ, heads up for a sec, bud. Go over that way. Nothing. Go over there. What are you doing in there right now? <laughs> Except for not turning the door handle. Are you turning the door handle? Yes, turn it the said door staff, handle. so he thought you should go in. Oh, hey. Dennis the Menace. Like, yeah. Yeah. Aren't smart, wow. Right? Slick. Reporter Dennis. Reporting from the bathroom that I'm locked in. <laughs> it's very small in here. And Breaking. The walls are closing in. Break. <laughs> the walls are closing in. My anxiety is climbing. <laughs> Live tonight at five. Breaking news. I've locked myself in. Get some new ones, huh? There's the cube. This thing is gnarly. Oh, you put a flashlight on here? Oh, dude, we got it lit up. It's all crazy. We got our cop protector man making sure everybody's good and safe. Yeah. And slick. We've got our lasers. We've got our disco ball. Disco ball. We've got our lights. We've got a ladder. And we came all over in this big production trailer, which is super cool. This is where the magic happens. Here's one of the actors just eating snacks. Eating snacks. <laughs> Yeah.
And here's where we came in down here. The production trailer. We're shooting at the old school, which is super cool. There's another actor late, late for her role. Too much information. And then here's the production trailer that we're going to be shooting with. There's the real star of the show, Marlene, who keeps all this together. And then this gentleman over here, he's coming to check it out. And unfortunately, there seems to be something going on over across the street. Doesn't seem very pleasant. But we're trying our best to stay in good mood, so. And I believe there was a funeral across the street. So that's where we're at. And here's the theater as well that we'll gain access to later. And this old creepy school is pretty rad, so. Anyway, for now, goodbye. Welcome to my kitchen. Now what I like to do when I cook human bones, I like to take my human fingers and I make pepperoni with it. It's very delicious. <laughs> this bone is in the shoulder. Don't eat that. You'll choke to death. <laughs> Even though you're dead. This bone connects the penis to the asshole. Very tender bone for later. What I also like to do is put mustard on my human finger sausage. Very good. They say fingers don't have meat. That's not true. They have very good meat. You just have to be ready to go and lick it out of there. I eat about a human a week. I like to start with the freshest part. Usually the intestine. And then I work my way downwards. I stop at the belly button and I take off again at the legs. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Took it, Alberto. <laughs> I just want to go to Pound Town. What's the big deal? It's a big deal. All right, so okay. are you ready? Yes, okay. Okay, and we're hot. Okay, um, day five we're day on? Five. Day we five, we wrapped up production. Okay. Production was today. wrapped up today. We got the school finished. Um, and tomorrow's the live theater show. Um, any feelings about the end of the production? It's kind of saddening. Mm. It's gonna be sad to uh, leave all you guys yeah. kind of bonded over the past week. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's been fucking epic. Yeah, uh, we have been the most epic you. production week I've ever had in my life. I've never yeah. worked so hard in my life except the day before the day of the day that we started this thing. It's been balls out from morning to night. We get a lot of shit done and twelve hours, fourteen hours a day. Just we wake up with the goal in mind. Okay, we're going to record. Let's get what we need. We need uh, lights, we need material to block windows, we need, you just make a list, get her done, go on location, and power through. That's it. Send it in hot. Give Send her shit. Hot. <laughs> and that's like a ton of work to do, so how, how has the energy level been Great. with everyone? I, f I find when we're, when we're headed to that goal, my energy levels are super high. Hmm. Just, I just want to get her done, like, just want to get those shots, and the child actors today were just amazing. Mm. Like they had a hard time getting the contact lenses yep. in, but they powered through. It was a tough. Corey did an amazing job. DJ yep. did an amazing job, mm. and uh, Cedar and Meadow. Yeah, Cedar Meadow and Serena. They came in and helped us out. We got some extras and had some pizzas. It was nice. Yeah, it was we worked nice. hard. We finished early. We only worked till nine forty two, which of normally midnight. would be midnight one, two, three in the morning, so on and so forth, yeah. as the crow flies. But what do you think, Rob? Well, we got a nice break today, actually, yeah. It was we nice did, in the middle. It was nice in the middle. Nine yeah. o'clock was sharp and all that. From the belly button to and the chest, it was it nice, was, right? We were just working at full uh, sailing. efficiency, actually. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I, think the, oh, I think the toughest part was actually the contact lenses. Yeah, yeah that was, was by far. I, I was surprised. I thought they'd just go in like butter, but I guess if you haven't worn contact lenses before, yeah. even I had to get Rob to put them or in for me. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's eye sizes are different, and we had some. We had a we girl had, uh, having one. Just yeah. we just got one in. Well, her ancestor didn't cross the land bridges early, so they stayed on that side, and uh, she had this, you know, the smaller set of eyes. So yeah, <laughs> it was tough. I for totally, her. I, I, I concur. <laughs> I concur yeah. on that. She had part. a hard time. <laughs> Rob has a magic touch, as it turns out. Is this a skill you knew you had? Well, I didn't know until I could touch my own eye. <laughs> <laughs> How long well, does that take normally? When did you first learn? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I had, you know, when the bar of soap fell on my eye, I had to pull oh. it out. So and I then had to wash it with, like, you know, just do the yeah. wiper blade motion and... Here we go. <laughs> and so today you found out you could also touch other people's eyes. And I touched a lot of eyeballs today, yeah. Yeah. So can... How do you feel about that? Well, it felt weird at first. But <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm made for this industry. Yeah. Uh, I got locked in a bathroom today, oh, which yeah, was yeah. Yeah. Big. <laughs> We got a whole spinoff coming. Yeah, we have a spinoff coming. We're just creating one. a whole show from this. So, Netflix investors, Chinese money, we need 15 billion. Oh, yeah. Don't fuck with me. Yeah. You know my number. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Fred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for choosing Fred. These are Fred's wedding vows. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Fred. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, there was a few things that happened today where it seemed like things were going a bit south. But it My anxiety like... <laughs> levels are rising. Yeah. Yeah. Reporting no. live yeah. from the bathroom, I'm locked in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, we, but we got it all done, right? Like, even though, it's all done. Yeah. Yeah. The big Multiple scene, shots, yeah. the, the weird scene where we're doing the ritualistic thing, shots look pretty cool, it's going to be good. Yeah. Everyone looks super crazy and freaky. Mm. It looks good. It looks like... We're in a band and we're making stuff and it's awesome. I think we're, it's and like I hope that it next level, man. It's it like coagulates into a, you know, formidable force of nature. And, Me too. You know, projects itself onto the universe. So in the it, when you're writing a song or you you've got an idea and you get inspired and then you write it, you record it and then you put it out. Now that you're seeing the visual side of what you could do, mm. what is what part of that is the inspiring part? Is it the building the set? Is it organizing the crew? Is it what is it, for me, it's it's seeing my vision come to life. Like, I uh, so my flight was laid over for twelve hours, and I found myself with twelve hours of time. and And Fred had been bugging me for months to get a script together, and he was like, he was getting pretty little. He was getting a little pissy. I with was me. touching was, my fingers. He was like, "Where's my script? Like, we can't just have them coming here and doing fuck all." Oh, no, no. I was like, Holy <laughs> fuck. "I said, don't worry, trust me. Have I ever let you down before?" Yeah. And that, once, and that one time. <laughs> so, anyways, so I had found myself at twelve hours, and I sat on my couch at home, and I mentally connected all these three songs together. And somehow, I don't know what came, but I think it was the forces the, of God came. It was the inspiration of cycle because we were talking about doing the Fred Vil Fred Elvis universe and doing cartoons and tying the videos together and mm -hmm. then well yeah that's it's we, like the ideas were brewing and you took them all together and you went okay i'm gonna spin this yarn yeah and it's been and it just it came in like i was finishing changes i mean sorry what was the last song slingshot that morning before i took my flight so i did the first two and then i finished slingshot i sent it to you guys yep. and then i jumped on that plane and i came mm -hmm. and then we all read it especially me and darren we read he, it he still so haven't much. read the script <laughs> it's so cool but I, it's done somehow it's great it, as long it, as you just do what you're it told all, it's all good we all put our energy together we all did everything we could i did my we part rob did his so part. many fireworks yesterday you didn't believe that yeah. that was amazing I still... we are responsible for so much pollution because of that and that's okay but it was we're cool. in alberta it's yeah. capital Canada. it's gonna get absorbed by yeah. trudeau's haircut we'll be fine does making something like this um does it feel similar to like making an album or like making a song is it like wow not at all not at all no. i mean we took seven months an album is is painstakingly fucking hard because everything has to be perfect or else it sucks complete donkey dicks. And because we're 3,000 kilometers away, I don't want to send all my garbage his way because there, there is an efficiency. But you do send garbage, but that's how you, we evolve. I say, yeah. no, do it again. Yeah, or I'll send a part of a song that, you know, changes with one little gold nugget and it's like, this is the nugget and he's like, the rest is kind of, 
we'll leave it out. And but then sometimes I'm like, you send me like, and then I'm like, fuck you. And then he's like, don't worry. Then I'm like, okay, Trust me. but fuck you. And then he's like, but don't worry. Then I'm like, okay, don't <laughs> worry. And then I hear it and I'm like, oh, I'm not worried. Nice. Because we're 3,000 kilometers away. We can't communicate. It's like we communicate by a song. It's like, oh, a week later, bing, listen, process, send back his way. He does the whole thing, sends it back, and then it's like it changes so much every time that it's it it's hard to recognize by the end. And it's like, wow, is that really what we like that bed? Because I lay a, he sends me a scratch, I put a bed track, and then he builds a fucking masterpiece on top of it. And it's like it's fucking it's such a it's strange for me to process it because I let it all go, and then he takes it, and it's like boom, and it's like okay, this is it. <laughs> take it or leave it right like i've done this all the rest is be- and, and it's always like it's amazing i mean the album's amazing so our we, model, you know so our motto is make your masterpiece do you feel like when we're going through this process <clears throat> that your song and your videos are really your life's work is coming together absolutely and this is is what the pinnacle of what i've ever done is it's coming to like like <clears throat> come on man i jammed on the roof you know, of the guitar no I feel we, like we yeah. made a crop circle. You know what? We lit off fireworks. We set up pyros on a zip line. That's right. Like, I feel like we're at nothing. base camp for it. Mount Everest. Like we've done a hike, but we're really at base camp right now. We know we can hike. Now we're gonna fucking hike. Now we're gonna fucking. Now show we the know world we, we can, can hike. hike. Yeah. We'll keep hiking. That's all it is, right? We're at base camp, yeah. and it's a fucking nice view. Yeah, my backpack is packed and ready. So. We got, we got Rob, yes. you know, Rob, the ultimate fucking giver all guy for a yeah. base player. And, uh, we got the trifecta. Like to, yeah, yeah, I would like to thank Rob for coming out, man. It's yeah. just, uh, yeah. like, he, he really killed it. He learned yeah. all the songs. He came out. He's been a, such a trooper, man. It's it's great. And I'm, he's happy. He completes the trio, He's man. a third. He's, all, a, that's it. he's official. He's the band. He's, he's yeah. part of the band. I mean, that's the announcement, by the way. Cool, yeah. man. Welcome. Hey. Oh, Welcome. Really? Checks in the mail. <laughs> wow, cool. Wow. Checks in the mail. <laughs> Your bags are packed. Yeah. Well, that's great. <laughs> okay, that's 10 minutes. Okay, well, that's, that have... was a fast 10 minutes. I have two quotes today. today. Okay. Well, I have two. I wrote them down. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. Hang on. Let's see here. Um, we'll start with this because we're talking about inspiration. And I just want to say that without a dream, life can be a nightmare. It's true. So keep that in your heart. If you're not going up, you're going down. Going down. And the other one is the source of everything is the mind and you have one. So anything is possible. Go get it. Yep. That's it, man. Put your energy to it and we can get there. Let's get it. Very good. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Awesome, guys.